What the what? Beach. <laughs> Hold, on. <laughs> Hold on. The fact that they can move their ear to just do that. It's like a little suction cup. Hey guys, it's Ike and welcome to the 12th episode of Uma Musume, Pretty Derby. A uh, bit of a recap on what happened on the previous episode. It honestly was just Silent Suzuka getting her stride back, or at least, you know, she she was finally able to go onto her first race and then she blew everybody out of the fucking water because, of course, she's Silent Suzuka. She, she fought against death, according to all the fucking smarties in the comments who really wants to tell me and other people about what happened to the actual Silent Suzuka. But anyways, episode 11 is a bit identical to the 10th episode, with uh, Special Week finally getting her first win again, and this goes to Silent Suzuka getting her first win, even though she's kind of been winning all the other times. It's just that she had that accident and then she was gone for how ma however many months it is, or even a year. I think it's been a year, I, I can't remember. Other than that, I don't know what else to say, so let's just continue on with the 12th episode. A miraculous return. Ha ha ha, sure buddy. Ooh, those abs though. And also, just doing that by your thumb? Goddamn. What are you even training your thumbs? <laughs> She gonna break somebody with those. Damn, dude. See, she 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 just came here just to be like, "Hey, yeah, fuck you. I'm better than everybody in Japan." Also, I just wanted to point out those fucking cameras. Look at that box. Ooh, it's beautiful. I love it. Damn! Nothing at all. I'm gonna fucking win. Oh shit, dude. You think that she would at least, you know, give her some kind of, uh, give her, you know, the benefit of the doubt, especially with, uh, what the fuck's her name? El Condor Pasa, who, you know, more or less kind of gave her a. I actually, now that I think about it, I feel like Broye kind of just, like, left her in the dust too, but. Then again, you know, she is here in Japan, cause she- <laughs> Just to make sure that she's gonna fuck everybody up. It's the wrong way. <laughs> oh, it's the same guy from the first episode. You're the strongest horse girl, the winner of the brooks. Okay. Mm, dreaming about that glorious feast when she wins. What? Then, I, 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 apparently the Japan Cup is also an international thing. Okay. Hey man, you're not supposed to tell her that, alright? <laughs> Oh, wow, I can't believe it. The both of them changed to make their own dreams a part of each other. Yeah, of course she is. We can't win. We can't leave this anime on a fucking losing note. There's there's no other way for, for this to have, like, to have... Special week lose and then still end on a high note, so she has to win. What the what? Beach. <laughs> Hold, on. <laughs> Hold on. The fact that they can move their ear to just do that. It's like a little suction cup. You know why is her why is Urara's ears different from everybody else? 
Like, everybody's ears just long and slender, and then hers look just like a cat. What if Urara is secretly a cat girl, but she's tr trying to be a horse girl? Fucking plot twist. <laughs> a good race. I don't know how you're gonna remember that one for- Oh shit! I like the fact that she has to like bend down in order for her- In order for El Condor Pasa to say something in her ear. Oh look at her coming in in her- In her fancy little cape. Oh shit! Damn! Oh, somebody's got a little girl crush on um, Broye. Yeah. Oh, look at her throwing that out with confidence. I like that, um, I like that they're, they're throwing more references to the first episode right now. Hey, remember, remember when this anime started, guys? What is this, the, the last episode? Come on. Of course it does, obviously. <laughs> hey, they did that for Suzuka and she won, alright? So, you know. Wait, you just heard her footstep and you knew that it was her? Aw, look at all these pictures of them in their racing suits that we'll never see! God damn! The opening was a lie! Saw more of these girls, more of the rivals running than the teams. Ooh, you place your dreams in, in her? Damn, dude, she's still- Oh, she is taking the cape with her. I forgot she- she raced with it before, huh? That's right. The number one thing is to have fun. Oh, okay. Oh, mwah! It's a French greeting, alright? Get too cocky! <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, so we're starting off with the race, and oh, that's the mom. I was like, I was like, why is there a fucking glare in that picture? <laughs> I thought that I thought she was holding a picture of Special Week, which kind of doesn't really make sense to me. What if she's like running and she's feeling like she's about to lose, but then she sees her mom with her picture of her mom. What, so all the, the those two girls are French too? Like, we'll crush you! Well, yeah. Well, yeah, you the one who told her to say, don't get cocky. I still have it on low, so I actually don't know what the heck they're saying, actually, other than what the subtitle is telling me. It's just a run. Just a run for fun. You know. But also to become the best horse girl in Japan. Oh shit, she gonna shatter her will. Oh. Uh oh. You see, she's running with her head down. You can't see her eyes, you know she's being super serial. It's 
screaming gives you more speed. Remember, guys. Ooh, so much, so much screaming. You reaching maximum speed? What's going on here? What is she running faster than sound? Oh, dude, she's hitting. She is hitting maximum speed. She's cutting through wind now, guys. Oh, I don't know. Maybe if you'd taken that cape off, you know, you would have been able to run faster. Wow! Can't believe it! Oh my goodness! Such a triumphant moment, but I feel nothing. <laughs> what a fucking lip syncer! Where's the microphone? Excuse me, lady. You know the speaking of the whole idol thing, and uh, the the idol thing. It's like I, I when I first saw it, I felt like it was an added measure. Just to see if- just because- just in case the horse racing wasn't all that interesting. You didn't have the idol part. But then, they- they kind of did that for like the first two, three, or maybe like two to four episodes. And then afterwards, they just forgot about it. <laughs> it felt pretty underutilized, honestly. If they had it put a little bit more, I felt like I would have had at least- like it would have had at least a good variety to it, you know? Aw, oh, fuck, dude, her mom got pushed. Look at a trainer showing off. Yeah, I felt like that would've been a little, a little bit more variety. Other than just, you know, the training montage, uh, the racing, it's just like those two kind of thing. It's like, whatever. Having like a three to like go around, it's a little bit better than just having t just like two things. It's my turn to make your dream come true. Oh, shit. Some time later. Ooh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hold on. So, the Tokyo X Winter Dream Trophy. McQueen isn't, like, the, the, the second. Wow, okay. The second bracket. First of the second bracket. Okay, so, I guess... The last episode is with everybody in the fuck it. Everybody that we know is going to be running. Which is the fucking, uh, the opening. Where I can finally see all these girls in their running outfit. And here I thought that we're not going to see any of them in, in, their, in their running outfit. I'm just going to see them in their low transition cards. Oh, the dream is to to run alongside her, huh? I forgot. I was, <laughs> I was, I was, I was over here like, wait a minute, what's that dream that Suzuka is going to fulfill for a special week? It's it's them wanting to run alongside each other. Fuck. All right, so that was episode twelve of Uma Musume, and uh, it was it was an all right episode. I felt like there was a lot of hype being being built during this episode and from somewhat a little bit of the last episode too but i felt a little bit dissatisfied from the result of this i felt like there should have been more <laughs> it's it it's been it's been that problem for me with all these races it's just that when it comes to sports anime uh i do get a good amount of thrill from it and I do like the uh, the uh, progression that it has. When it comes to this anime, it's just kind of been a straight road. And I don't know when I just <laughs> when we talking about straight road, I mean they literally are just running on a fucking track, and that's honestly about it. And what I said again about the whole idol thing, because they I've 
I felt like they added that just on the side and they never fully utilize it. They did about for about four episodes and like around after Teo was gone, uh, after Teo was introduced and the episode after that, they just forgot about it because we get into the whole uh, the whole situation with Silent Suzuka. Again, those two episodes with Silent Suzuka breaking her fucking leg or fracturing her leg and Special Week getting her uh, getting her ass handed to her by Grass Wonder. Those two were good episodes, and everything else was kind of just kind of whatever. Those two episodes, when I'm talking about the, uh, I'm talking about the races, because they were different from every other race. All the races here, even this one, where she fights against Broyer and they're all hyping her up for being one of the, you know, one of the fastest, not fastest, but you know, this is, it was a horse that defeated El Condor Pasa, and she had won that, uh, that tournament in French tournament, the the race in French in France. Yeah, they were hyping her up, and they're like, "Oh, she's gonna be like a worthy opponent for Special Week." Like, do you think Special Week is going to win? It. I, I think Broyer was almost uh, the same as that girl from the previous episode. I can't remember her name right now. It was something about a cap or something like <laughs> rainbow cap. I can't. <laughs> She had a little hat on, visor, visor, rainbow visor, something with the visor on it. But anyways, that horse girl who came in and like, oh, you think that just cause you came back means that, you, you know, you get all the fame and all that shit, whatever she was saying. And Silent Suzuka just beat her in the fucking dust, just fed her, literally just fed her grass cause she ran so fast, she probably did like throw up grass from with her feet, throw up grass pick up grass. How do I English? Anyways, yeah, Broyer always feels like that girl, except less annoying, but with more hype uh, behind her. He here is Broyer, who I thought was going to be somewhat of a match, but apparently she fucking wasn't, and she just got left behind by Special Week, who, who just fucking ran. <laughs> So, it was, I don't know, again, it was just a lot of hype build up for nothing. It was just, oh, okay, she won, whatever. Some people might feel a little bit different about that, but what the fuck's wrong with my hair? So yeah, some people might feel a little bit different about that. They might actually get into the hype and they might feel uh, something when special, special week won against Boyer, but whatever's it's literally the same race as every other one other than that i don't know what else to say about this that i haven't said in the previous episodes i guess i am kind of looking forward to the next episode because we finally get to see all the girls from the team uh running and yeah that's that's basically about it like i can't believe that we saw more of the rivals in their matches than the fucking teammates. Whatever. Again, with variety, I wish there were like three instead of two. I thought that Teo was going to be a main character. I thought, like, I thought I saw her on the fucking poster. And if we had her storyline right there too, it would have been a nice addition to just Special Week and Silent Suzuka. And then to repeat, you know, just continuously repeating myself, I wish we, uh, they utilized more of the idol thing too. So we could have three of the varieties instead of just two just continuously switched over. Oh well. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I got my social medias. Check me out on my Twitter, my Instagram. Also got my Patreon page if you want to check that out and help me feed my habit. Also got that Amazon affiliate link thing if you want to help me out indirectly. You can see it all in the description down below. Other than that, thank you guys for sticking around and I'll see you guys in the next video.